And I just feel like when, it, when it's Arsenal, <laughs> everyone wants to, to lump in for, for, for some reason. Lump in, to lump in, to lump in. Five things we learned from the game against Liverpool. One, we are back in the title race. Arsenal are firmly back in the title race after an underwhelming December performance most people had written us off as serious challenges. After the win on Sunday, we are only two points off the top with 15 games to go. It still meant City's title to lose, but we are firmly back in the conversation. But this is not the time to rest on our laurels with West Ham looming next Sunday. We have a few winnable games coming up with Burnley away and Newcastle United at the Emirates. We also have a Champions League game against Ports or sandwiched in between. Let's keep this momentum going. 2. Jorginho deserves more respect. The Italian put in another man of the match performance against Liverpool on Sunday. With 87% pass success rate, 4 interceptions and 33 ball carries. He gave us control, allowed Declan Rice some freedom to push on, and pretty much dictated the tempo of the game. This has become a welcome trend that he always steps up in these big games. The manager trusts him, and us as the fan base need to trust him as well. He's been a polarizing figure ever since we signed him last January, but he has hardly let us down when called upon. One could argue that since that Spurs mistake, he has been one of our most consistent and reliable players. 12 million pounds well spent. 3. Ateta outclassed Klopp. Our manager performed a coaching masterclass. It is not often that a team imposes itself on Liverpool like the Gunners did, dominating large parts of the game and limiting Liverpool to only one shot on target for 97 minutes and an XG of 0.41. His starting 11 raised a few eyebrows when he opted for Kai Havertz up front. Most of us would expect Trossard to replace the injured Jesus. The German was a nightmare for the Liverpool defence, particularly for Konate who ultimately got sent up for a second bookable challenge on Havertz. Ateta's substitution was spot on. He firstly brought on Jakub Kivio for Zinchenko and the pole stifled Liverpool's attack down their right flank, and even almost chipped in with the goal later on. His second substitution was probably the most shocking, as he brought on Trossard for Martinelli who was visibly frustrated for being subbed off. His disappointments turned into elation moments later when his Belgian replacement individually stole the limelight with his solo goal attempts sneaking past Alisson's leg, sending the North Bank into raptures. Masterclass from Ateta. 4. Should we start worrying about Gabriel Jesus' stop start career at Arsenal? The Brazilian attacker was out injured again, citing a slight setback with his knee. It's a recurring trend since the skillful forward has signed for Arsenal. He cannot seem to stay fit for a majority part of the season. It seems like when he starts getting momentum going for him, this niggling injury setback stop him in his tracks. This is a hugely worrying trend as we are already missing important players in Timber and Party for most of the season. The last thing we need is to lose another vital player in Jesus. 5. The Celebration Police are out in force. I just feel like when, it, when it's Arsenal, <laughs> everyone wants to, to lump in for, for, for some reason. Never have truer words been spoken. It seems like people find joy in Arsenal's misery. In a sense that even when we play well and beat the most informed team in the league, we are not allowed to celebrate. Football is not a game for robots. It's a human sport, a sport of passion. If you try and control the way people express their feelings after a match, you are literally taking away the joy this beautiful game brings us. It is, however, ironic that it is some Liverpool fans who are offended by Ateta's celebrations when they employ Jürgen Klopp, who is famous for his long run celebration, and who could forget this moment? Where was Jamie Carragher then? I mean, Klopp literally pulled a hamstring running down the touchline once. 